Yes people, hope everyone's good, it's your boy Severe Prod. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook up a hard UK drill beat using only Arcade for the melodies in FL Studio. This one's going to be lit as always, make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new around here and you like this type of content, what are you guys doing man? Come and join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway, enough talking, come and join me on my screen and let's get straight into the cook up. That's crazy. Welcome to the video. Like I say, today we're going for a hard UK drill beat and we're just going to be using Arcade for the melodies. I'm going to be showing you guys you don't need real expensive VSTs and you actually don't need multiple VSTs as well. You can actually just do this with one plugin. So let's waste no time. We're going to jump straight into this one. You know the vibe. I've cut up three melodies off camera. What we're going to do, I'm going to run through these melodies one by one and I'll show you what we're working with. For the first melody, we actually jumped into the drip section and end up grabbing this new classic preset for the effect i've got an eq taking out some lows and highs actually dipped a few of the mids i've got this effectrix which plays a stutter note halfway through the bar and i've also got this vintage valhalla reverb i've only got the mix turned down to around 10 percent for this beat we're working in 142 bpm and i'm over in c minor this is the pattern that we came up with For the second melody, we actually stayed in the drip section. However, this time I went over and grabbed the on the grind preset. For the effect, once again, I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs, dipping a few of the mids. And I've got another vintage Valhalla reverb. This time I've got the mix turned down to around 29%. This is the pattern that we came up with for that one. And for the final melody, we jump straight into the hook section. The hook section in arcades definitely my go-to when it comes to vocal chops. We went over and grabbed the real you in preset. For the effects, once again, I've got another EQ taking out quite a few lows and highs. We actually dipped a few of the mids and raised a few of the high mids. And lastly, I've got a vintage Valhalla reverb. This time I've got the mix turned down to around 27%. All of these are fairly basic patterns, but this is what we came up with for that. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. That's sounding nice. It's sounding a little bit different. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start adding in some drums. So first off, I think I'm going to start with a hi-hat. You know the vibe. We're going straight into the Vortex kit as well. I'm just going to head into the MIDI kit and we're going to speed this one up a little bit. That's sounding nice. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start layering in some percussion. So I'm going to grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just going to get the bounce going. So let's see what we can come up with.
So we've got a nice little pattern on the go. I've got a few different main snares hitting and we've actually got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. I've kept it fairly simple, but what this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and it just adds to the bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. Ooh, that is sounding hard. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time once again. We're going to get straight into the 808. <laughs> yeah, boy. Ooh, that is sounding nasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to add in a kick and we're going to make the 808 punch yeah. a little bit harder. Oh, that is sounding tasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to rearrange this into a full beat. So I've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've added in a few different effects out of my kit. And what this does is just lets a listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar. We've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well. This just adds to the tension of the beat and basically it just stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on. And finally, I'm adding in my tag in there too. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen. <laughs> nice little breakdown and then straight back in This one is sounding too fire. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SurveyorProd to keep update with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.